Hi everyone, it's Mary from Mary's Kitchen MTL. Today we're making homemade manicotti with crepes, meat, ricotta and cheese. There are five steps to this recipe. We will make the filling, we'll make the sauce and the manicotti crepes. We will then stuff and bake them. These are the ingredients needed for the filling. Three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two minced garlic cloves, one minced onion, one minced carrot, one pound of ground veal, one beef bouillon cube, half a cup of chopped parsley, half a cup of chopped basil, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, half a cup of dry white wine, 300 grams of ricotta cheese, and one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. These are the ingredients for the sauce. One can of peeled and crushed tomatoes, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two minced garlic cloves, one minced onion, one teaspoon of salt, a pinch of chili pepper, this is optional, half a cup of chopped parsley, and half a cup of chopped basil. For the crepes, we'll need four large eggs at room temperature, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of whole milk, one cup of all-purpose flour, some extra virgin olive oil to grease our pan. These are the toppings. One cup of grated Parmesan cheese, two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, half a cup of chopped parsley, and some basil. Let's get started with the filling. Add the olive oil in a large skillet. Add the garlic, onion, and carrot. Saute for two minutes over medium heat. Now add the meat and break it up in tiny bits. Once the meat begins to brown, crumble the bouillon cube and add it in. Throw in the parsley and the basil. Add the pepper. Saute and stir for 10 minutes. Once the meat has browned, throw in the white wine. Saute and stir for another 15 minutes. Turn off the heat and stir in the ricotta cheese. Mix in the Parmesan cheese and then set this aside to cool. Now let's make the sauce. Add the oil, garlic and onion in a medium saucepan. Turn the heat on to medium high. Saute the garlic and onion just a little. To this add the crushed tomatoes. Add in the salt and the chili. Add the basil and parsley. Stir occasionally and simmer over low-medium heat for 15 minutes. Once cooked, turn off the heat. Let's make the crepes. Add your eggs in a medium bowl and whisk them for one minute. Pour in the milk and continue whisking. Add the flour and the salt. Whisk until the batter is smooth. We are now ready to cook the crepes. Heat a non-stick pan over medium-high heat. Rub olive oil on the pan using a paper towel. Be careful not to burn your fingers. Using a ladle, pour about one quarter cup of the batter in the pan. Lift and tilt the pan right away with a circular motion so that the batter spreads evenly and you'll have a nice thin crepe. Cook the crepe for one to two minutes until the bottom is lightly browned. Use a white spatula to flip it over and then cook the other side for another one to two minutes. Place the crepe on a dish. Rub more olive oil on the pan and continue cooking the crepes. This recipe will give you seven to eight crepes in total. Mm -hmm. 
Before stuffing the manicotti crepes, we will prep our baking dish. Spread some of the cooked sauce on the bottom of a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. We will now add the stuffing. Using a spoon, add a generous amount of the filling in the center of the crepe. Fold the side closest to you over the filling. Tuck in both ends and then roll to close. Place the manicotti crepe with the seam down inside the baking dish. Continue stuffing the remaining manicotti crepes. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Spoon a generous amount of sauce over the manicotti. If you have leftover sauce, you may want to add more to your manicotti after they are baked. Or you can save it for another pasta day. Garnish with grated Parmesan cheese and shredded mozzarella. Add the chopped parsley and shred some basil. Cover with parchment paper and aluminum foil and bake for 35 minutes. These delicious homemade manicotti are meaty, cheesy, saucy and truly satisfying. They can also be made one or two days in advance and refrigerated. Just bake them when you're ready to have them. They are also freezer friendly and even more delicious when reheated. I hope that you enjoy this dish as much as I do. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more recipes. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.